Hello, good morning. How are you today? <laughs> How was your weekend? Good. Excellent. It was good. From his office in Garden City, Dr. Cameron Roxar, an internationally renowned dermatologist, consults with patients on a daily basis to help combat one of the most severe skin conditions. Well, I think, you know, there's uh, a lot of issues uh, with, uh, with the sun in the summertime. There are patients that come in worried about lesions changing because they've gotten sun exposure. There are patients that come in with various rashes that relates to the sun. There are people who are allergic to the sun when they spend too much time in the sun. There are people who become allergic to things they use to combat the, the effects of the sun. A lot of the lesions that appear on the skin are, are benign. Uh, however, there are precancerous lesions as well as cancerous lesions. The precancerous lesions are usually rough and scaly. They feel like rough spots that don't, don't go away. We call those actinic keratoses. Uh, then there are three major forms of skin cancer, basal cell carcinomas, squamous cell carcinomas, and obviously the most dreaded one, malignant melanoma. Uh, and you know, we see um, um, uh, lots of these things. Skin cancer is the most common cancer uh, uh, in, in, in human beings. Uh, far, uh, and the numbers far outweigh any other uh, cancer. Each year, there are more new cases of skin cancer than the combined incidence of cancers of the breast, prostate, lung, and colon, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer in the course of their lifetime. Eileen Marvin gets checked annually for skin lesion irregularities. Many lesions that appear normal can be diagnosed as precancerous. It was precancerous, a number of them. In fact, Dr. Rakshar, uh, just about five weeks ago, took one off my nose. We often use the uh, connotation of A, B, C, D, E's of moles, A being asymmetry, if a mole is asymmetrical, meaning one half the mole doesn't look like the other half. B stands for border, if the border is irregular as opposed to being nice and smooth in contour. C stands for color, if there's a change in color or multiple colors in a mole. D stands for diameter greater than 6 millimeters or 0.6 centimeters. And finally, E stands for evolving, that is a mole that's changing. So those are some of the objective criteria that we use to diagnose uh, uh, lesions that are uh, abnormal. With the rise of diagnosed skin cancer, comes frequent campaigns to inform the public of the disease on how to prevent and protect your skin from sun exposure. As um, I got older, there was more information on television and um, with regard to sunscreen and how important it is to wear protective clothing and a hat. Best preventative measure really for skin cancer is sun protection. Uh, obviously wearing your sunblock is extremely important if you're going to spend out in the sun or actually you know every day. Uh, we recommend to wear at least an SPF 30. Uh, sunblock should be applied every two hours uh, when you're in the sun and every time you go and come out of the water. Uh, also it's best to avoid uh, the peak hours for, uh, for when the sun is at its maximum which is the hours of between the hours of 12 and 3 p.m. It's also recommended to wear a hat as well as uh, protective uh, clothing. Willingness to take safety measures against skin cancer can mean a world of difference in the ongoing fight to eradicate the disease. Yeah, I think it's important to really get checked uh, once a year. Um, you know, the, the, the mel currently melanoma does not have a cure. Uh, so your best bet in terms of winning uh, uh, the war against melanoma is early detection. If you catch it early, it's curable. If melanoma is caught too late when it's um, become a thicker lesion or it's uh, gone to lymph nodes, it's extremely hard to cure melanoma. For more information on skin cancer prevention, visit skincancer.org. For Push Pause in Garden City, this is James Fisher.